and Little Sammers, and we are here to show you what we're gonna pack for our camping trip this weekend. Mainly, I'm gonna be talking about mason jar salads and how to make them. When I first heard of this concept, I was kinda like, mason jar salad, that's weird. Why would a salad stay fresh for up to three days in your fridge in a glass jar? But I promise you, they are magical. So I'm gonna layer through and show you the technique and the steps of it because it really is awesome and it stays crisp and great and you can take my word for it because I eat a salad every day and I love veggies. So the first thing too that is my secret sauce, literally, is this uh, creamy garlic dressing. I will put the recipe below for you. It's really good. The kids will like gobble down a salad when we put this on. I double the batch and it lasts us about seven to eight days in the fridge. So we are gonna start with this and I'm just gonna take you through and show you. I'm gonna make Matt salad because mine's a little different and doesn't have as much stuff in it. He's six foot seven, he's huge. I'm also gonna be making my father-in-law his salads. We all just got off of a 21 day ultimate reset where we lost like, my father-in-law lost 18 pounds, Matt lost 18 pounds, I lost nine and we've all kept it off and it's been over a month. So that is thumbs up and that just goes to show that when you plan, pack and feel your body right, you can stay super happy and feel good in your skin. I'm also gonna have the kiddos wash some apples and we're gonna bring our favorite almond butter, which is the one from Costco, and we're gonna have an apple a day. I read a book called Liver Rescue that talked about how our livers crave apples. They love apples. It's the best beneficial fruit for them. If you follow the medical medium, he's a really great source for thyroid health and all sorts of crazy stuff. So now, of course, there's tons of nutrients that are gonna be added to this mason jar. So what I'm gonna do is two tablespoons of dressing. And you have to put avocados in it to make it super yummy. <laughs> yeah, the avocados it's are the so best. It's so good with avocados. Okay, so it makes it like creamy and everything. Yes, and the dressing goes first. So you're gonna start with dressing, then you're gonna go to your hard vegetables. So I have some organic shredded carrots. So we're gonna put those in. Anything that's nice and hard that won't get soggy, you put in first, okay? Then I'm gonna add some jicama. So I chopped some jicama. Mm -hmm. I know, we should show them. So jicama is kind of in the grocery store where like bok choy is, um, the aloe leaf, the cactus leaves, like kind of the random stuff Here, that we, it's it's like a, what does it taste like, sis? You guys love it's it. It's kind of, it's like sweet and watery kind of. Yeah. It's really good. It's really good. So that's kind of a hard veggie. Then we're gonna go with the lettuce. So I'm gonna put in, I just bought some organic spring mix. We're gonna try to stuff that in. So next up, I'm gonna put some roasted golden beets. I personally don't love red beets, but I, 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 if you have never had a golden beet and roasted them with olive oil, salt and pepper in like a 425 degree oven, uh, for about 35, 40 minutes. They are like little tiny chunks of candy in your salad and you will love them. All right. Oh, by the way, we just put lettuce in too. So. Yeah. Put lettuce in and then the So Matt loves artichoke hearts and Kalamata olives in his salad. So I'm gonna put a couple artichoke hearts. We get those I like don't them. like olives or artichoke hearts. I like artichoke hearts, but I don't really love them in my salad. So we're gonna get him some healthy fats with his Kalamata olives, that pop of flavor. Then we are going to do the avocado because avocados are life. Oh, I already have one ready. So I pack this salad for Matt every day for lunch and he takes it. So I'm gonna do a half of an avocado. Sometimes I do a whole and then... Cause daddy is building a collision center. Yeah, he's busy working. He is a builder. Okay, and that's it. So you have hard veggies, you have dressing, hard veggies, lettuce, soft veggies, and then I'm gonna put the lid on. And we, I bought some like little Tupperwares to take when we go hiking. So in the morning, we will, like on the days that we won't be home for lunch, I'll just, uh, we'll dump this into the Tupperware. And so we can just throw it in our backpack and go. And that's it. That's awesome. It's so good. Wait, oh, wait yeah. I forgot pumpkin seeds. Oh, yeah. Here, pass, so, pass me those. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you need pumpkin seeds. So these are the sprouted 
pumpkin seeds from Costco. I like those. I like the, these are the ones without the shell. I like the Trader Joe's and the shell. Those ones are harder and these ones are like softer. Because these are dry roasted and salted and it's like having potato chips in my salad and it's so good. So any nuts or seeds you're gonna wanna do at the top so they stay crunchy and crisp. I knew I was um, cooking something. I do a fourth of a cup. And can't you just put the lid on and then shake it and then it just mixes together? You could kind of shake it and eat if you were in a pinch and didn't have a bowl. You could, but the glass is heavy to take hiking. So there you have it. Good job, sis. Thanks for helping. All right. Hope you guys are having a good summer. And let me know if you have any questions. And if you do explore Mason Dora salads, send me a picture on Instagram. I'm always over there. And I'll talk to you soon.